mind flies in such a way It flows in a way in which is acceptable by most. Many do not like the concept of time, but many is not one definite. I can find most these days that do not enjoy the concept of time. Yet, time is all but running out. Things are changing. Will it be for the best or for the worst? We'll soon find out, though. We will very much soon find out. But, in order to us, for us to survive the upcoming apocalypse, we must decide who amongst all of us will lead us. And you might be thinking, well, why not the man himself? Why not the guy that brought us together in the first place? And no, I'm not talking about me. No, I'm not talking about Mark or Jack. I'm talking about PewDiePie. That's right. That's who I'm talking about. That's what this video is going to be dedicated to. Old Pews himself. The nine-year-old incarnated PewDiePie. That is who I am targeting in this video. And though it seems to me that whenever I decide to do something, there's always something that's bound to happen. Either someone responds or a group of people respond. Two weeks ago, I made a video challenging Markiplier, challenging to a battle of power. Maybe I wasn't so clear. Maybe I wasn't persuading enough. Maybe I didn't explain the situation at hand. Or maybe he doesn't know who I am. So, what about you? What do you have to say for this? A low life mask that to be honest does not deserve a second chance in this life. In a way, this is a new opportunity. It's a new opportunity for me to explain who I am. And I don't need you anymore. I don't need you. Nobody needs you. Nobody needs you anymore. They need me. 
they need somebody to hold them together. PewDiePie is the one that brought us together. PewDiePie is the one that really, truly started this, what do you call it, this revolution against corporation a chance for us to control YouTube the way it was meant to be controlled the way it was meant to be the way YouTube was meant to be so that this light can continue to shine upon creators that are willing, no, excuse me, not willing, that want to create content without the threat of some corporation suing simply because they don't like it or simply because that they were talked poorly about. That is something that I will always fight against. I will always fight against corporations. And although I'm subscribed to a few corporations myself, with YouTube, I have YouTube Red and YouTube TV. I have Xfinity Internet owned by Comcast. So there are a few corporations in which I give money to out of my own expense. So that I could provide you guys with the quality entertainment. If they were to deny me access, not only would that be illegal, but I would fight them until the day I die. And I would continue to fight them until the day I die. Nobody is going to take away my freedom. Nobody is going to take away, or to, excuse me, take away my right to freedom of speech, to fr to freedom of creativity, the freedom to express myself. This is a perfect way to express myself. By throwing away something that has really kept me back. Now, now I can see. I can see the lies that are coming out of everybody's mouths. Take YouTube Rewind, for example. YouTube Rewind 2018. Let's take a look at it. How about Fortnite, Will Smith? Are you honestly telling the world that you play Fortnite? That is an outright lie, and you know it. Everybody knows that that is a lie. They can see it through your teeth. They can smell it. It's... It's the worst possible thing that somebody could do to embarrass themselves. And no disrespect, Mr. Smith, because I happen to like a few of your movies. A few. I have a little respect for you, Mr. Smith. What I don't 
the step is outright lying. Ah, Fortnite. Fuck off with that. We all know you're a fucking joke. Or at least that was a fucking joke. Ha ha. We all know. But you know what's funny? The fact that you know YouTube Rewind is bad when the YouTubers that were in it are also complaining about it. You know YouTube is bad when the number one most subscribed channel on YouTube today, as of recording this, as of most likely uploading this, says, explains, and makes fun of the video and explains how bad it is, knows how bad it is, and calls out Will Smith for being alive. You don't have to hear it from me multiple times that Will Smith is alive. You don't have to hear it from me that YouTube Rewind 2018 was bad because we know. We know. We know. This year was a big year for many people, for many, 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 many people, mostly animation. Animation has been making an impact for the past two years, maybe three, mostly because I haven't been paying a goddamn thing. I, I haven't been paying attention. I only just recently started watching story time animation videos like maybe earlier this year probably like march or april that's how er, that's that's how late i am to the whole story time animation scene and i thought about well how hard could it be well it turns out that i can't draw for for shit turns out that i kind of suck at editing and it turns out that I'm not really the best person to be telling stories whenever I make vlogs 24-7 explaining how my fucking week is. You guys really want to know how my week has been so far? You really want to know? You really want to know how my year has been so far? You really want to know how old one Death Eater has been all year long I can tell you I can tell you right now how my year has been it's been completely shit it feels like that everything that has ever happened this year has been a complete and total utter failure But that is set for another two weeks. Two weeks. I'm sure you guys can wait for that. This week is not about how shitty my life has been. How two weeks ago you guys received a 10 minute video of me challenging Markiplier. This week, I'm going to make myself known. I'm going to show you guys who I am. I'm going to prove to the world why you need me. Why I will continue to wear the mask through this 
reborn process. And why there won't be anybody, not even T-Series, not even Comcast, and not even YouTube, will be able to slow down, that will be able to stop me. Nobody will be able to stop me. Nobody will be able to slow me down. Nobody can stop one death here. The last video, I'll admit, were a few mistakes. There's no mistaking this now. There's no mistaking this, this new perfect look. There's no mistaking that I am one death beater. There ain't no mistaking that. And whether you like me or not, there is a storm room. And no, it's not Fortnite. That storm is T-Series. That storm of 2019 will be T-Series ultimately taking over as top subscriber. And for the first time in the history of YouTube, a corporation will be on top. Think about it. A corporation on top. This corporation will be advertiser film. This corporation will be promoting censorship. Will be promoting what they want to see. Will be promoting family-friendly content. Meaning, no cursing whatsoever. Nothing too cringy. Nothing that will make advertisers look bad. Nothing that involves PewDiePie, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, One Death Eater. You honestly think advertisers will look at all of us, then look at our content and be like, yeah, we can advertise them. As soon as one death eater takes off his mask and as soon as he abides by our rules, And as soon as I hear those words, this is what will be said during a live stream of a confrontation between one Death Eater and the Corporation. And it'll go a little something like this. I am one Death Eater, the Destroyer of souls and the destroyer of you. I'm still waiting, Mark. 
And now I look at you, PewDiePie. Will you respond? Or will you stay quiet as well? I await both of your answers. And I am patiently waiting. Have a nice day. So long for now. For next week, you'll see true power and frustration. You will see the true one death here. The destroyer of souls.